Okay, so this time I'm doing my single rep maxes at the... You know, I've worked out, uh, you know, I just sort of did one lift on all the stuff I'm going to be doing on the... Like three days ago, then I did a Tai Chi day and a yoga day and got on the treadmill and bike and whatnot. And, uh, you know, just very warm-up stuff. And now I'm getting my single rep maxes in so I can see what I'm starting at for uh, my new weight right now, 245. I just did a 245 deadlift. I'm like, oh, do I keep on, do I put the little fives on, or do I go straight to 275 and see if I can deadlift it? So I'm going to try and deadlift 275. My record is 330, but normally I just build up to 295. And I get to 295 after two months of working out. So, now we'll see how it goes. And I get 275 up. Yeah, this is ridiculous that, you know, it's like my favorite thing is deadlifting. Oh, and this is 295 here. Like, well, let's see if we can get 295. This will really make me happy, in a way. It'll also ruin how I felt about it before. I don't get it up right away. And here I'm putting my uh, waist trimmer on. And so far, I'm not sure if a waist trimming belt actually works. It's just one of those gimmicks that they sell at discount stores. Maybe it does. But actually, it almost, for doing deadlifts, it almost works better than a lifting belt. Because lifting belts almost don't even work at all. And this basically does what it's supposed to do. I still don't get it up right away. I'm just sort of jumping, trying to get my circulation going. Trying to get all pumped. Yeah, let's have a drink of water, cool down a bit. Alright, here we go, 295. Yeah, we're going to have a good year in lifting this year. Should be able to beat my previous lift of 330 with 345. Yeah, well, we'll just see how it goes. It's all new territory. And if I can get my stomach looking more pleasant. You know. Yeah, so 155 on the shoulder press, and couldn't do 165. I think my record's 180. And I went ahead the other day and bought uh, bumper plates. So I just put those on, and they'll be on in my next video. You know, the next time I'm working out. And, uh, yeah, if the bumper plates, I'm going to be having those on, and then I'll be able to put the 245s on for 315. And uh, then it's just like, that's probably, oh yeah, and I'm checking my old workout log sheet. I'm just like, what, I used to do that? Okay. That's from a couple years ago. Yeah, I'm going to print out a new workout log sheet. It's just like, yeah, that's... That's how you get to the next level. You keep track of what you do. Yeah, I think just by putting 345 plates on both sides, especially if one of them looking like a bumper plate, which is twice as thick, 
you know, then when you uh, deadlift that at 315, you'll already feel pretty accomplished. It's probably all you wanted. And we'll try and do a single rep max of everything at 315. You know, we'll get there, maybe. It'll be close. Alright, and then this is the next day where I finish up my single rep maxes doing squats and stuff. And I'm using a different laptop to record. This one has a darker camera for some reason. There we go, 225. I'm not really able to go all the way down, but, you know, that's still pretty far down. So, I still count that. Uh, gross. We're gonna add it in pajamas, basically. Well, you need sort of short shorts, and then it's, you know, the tank top helps out a little bit, but it's not exactly what you'd want to wear at the gym, 245. Yeah, walk it up. And 255 is a little bit much. Uh, couldn't, didn't really do it as just sort of a half squat. Well, you bench your legs a little bit. And then, oh wow. Well, you know, I just worked out, so pretty hard to even do eight push-ups, but I'm already doing better. You know, I already worked out again and did ten push-ups, you know. And then I'm gonna do eleven push-ups. It's gonna go pretty fast. It still won't be in an incredible amount that we get to. I mean, look at you. You're all rocking your body all over the place. <laughs> yeah. If I haven't worked out in four months, put on some weight. Yeah, sit-ups 13, what has the world came to? Yeah, all the things also kind of scary, like, are we ever gonna look good again? I don't know. Or did we ever look good in the first place? Maybe not. But hey, at least you got that deadlift thing going. And oh yeah, you can see the bumper plates on over there. Oh hey, yeah, the bumper plates are on now. Hey, what's up with that? That doesn't make sense. I must have done these after doing the squats. Yeah, yeah, I'd say everything is just going great. Well, the first week is pretty crazy, and I think the second week is also going to be crazy. And then your enthusiasm will only last for, like, uh, the first month, maybe. And then after two months, that's almost as going to be as far as you're going to get, you know. And we'll just keep on continuing without any... Uh, improvement is what it'll feel like. Yeah, and here, check out this website, Strength Level. Look up Strength Level and go to Standards, and you can, uh, they just show you exactly what it means to be whatever weight you are and how much weight you're gonna lift, and beginner is like, uh, beginner to novice is just like the first 30 days or two months and uh, then it's six months to intermediate or maybe it's not even six months it's like two years and then it's another two years to improve from there and you're gonna keep on getting smaller gains basically but yeah 
It's like most people don't consecutively work out for five years, or yeah, you're just supposed to always maintain good shape. Yeah, I just want to show you j this website. Yeah, this website really changed the way I thought about things and opened up my eyes. It's just like, oh, this is, you know, it's not like this website was off at all. This website was like exactly how it was. Incredible. 